I know you guys love a good dupe, so come craft with me to see how to create these Kirkland's copycats for way less money. These snowmen from Kirkland's are really cute with their little scarves and buttons. I really like that galvanized metal look and I think these would be really nice for holding Christmas garland and adding a little Christmas cheer to any space. They were on sale for $83, but let's see how much less we can make these for. I've been wanting to use this hammered spray paint for a long time, and finally I have the project for it. We'll need two tall cylinder shaped containers of different sizes. So I have this cardboard type container. You can find something similar in the gift box section at Dollar Tree. And then this glass face, and Dollar Tree does carry lots of glass faces. So it'll be interesting to see how that hammered metal spray paint works on these two different materials. Okay, so here's the glass face. I think it came out looking really good and the glass only needed one coat. The cardboard looks good too, but it did need two coats of paint. With just a little decoration, we're going to get these looking less like hammered metal vases and more like cute snowman buckets. So let's decorate! I wanted to mention real quick that today I'm joining the High End for Cheap collab hosted by Deco Easy and Kiki's DIY. We're all sharing our inspired DIYs on a playlist, which I'll link in the description box below. If you're new here, welcome to Artsy Cupcake. My name is Maria and I love getting creative and sharing home decor ideas to inspire you. So it just takes one second to click that subscribe button if you like the idea of weekly budget-friendly crafts. Here were the supplies we had to pick up. And here is the comparison. We saved so much money on this one by making it ourselves. I guess everything in Kirkland's is on sale right now, but even these sale prices are a bit steep. This sign is $105, and I know exactly how we can make this for much less. You can find frames at Dollar Tree, this one I had used for another project, but there are some spots where the paint rubbed off when I took off the decorations. So I'm just sanding it and then I'm going to paint over those areas. Next we'll make the sign for the middle. I'm using Adobe Illustrator here and I'm trying to pick a match for the fonts to make it match the inspiration piece. Next I picked some illustrations of the garland pieces for the corners and I placed those on our 5 inch square. I printed this out onto regular printer paper. I have a piece of foam core here from Dollar Tree. I had cut it to be slightly smaller than the outside edge of the frame. You'll need some spray mount to attach some wrapping paper of your choice to the piece that will go behind the frame. And while I'm spraying that, I'm going to go ahead and spray that sign we printed out and attach it to some foam core as well. Now we just trim those pieces out with a ruler and X-Acto knife. A tip to get sharp corners when trimming foam core is to poke your knife just outside of where you want the corner to be. That way you already have a smooth running start before you get to the corner. Thank you. 
I thought the edge looked a little bare, so I added some twine along the edge. I wrapped this around three times with some glue to completely conceal that foam core edge. You could use some ribbon or yarn or whatever you have on hand for this part. I know my glue gun is looking really bad guys. I promise I will be getting a new one soon. It's really ugly. It also sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. So I think it's time. This thing is at least 20 years old. So here's a look at the supplies we picked up, and here is mine next to the Kirkland's one. Let me know what you think of this dupe in the comments section below. I thought these trays from Kirkland's were so fun and festive. I'm going to decorate these with some cute Christmas tree items to really dress it up, and you'll see that at the end of the video. But I only want to make one of these, so... Let's just say for the large one, it may be around $60. And we'll try to get our price way under that. I found this tray in the new $5 section at Dollar Tree. I had already decorated it, but one corner is starting to come loose. So that will actually come in handy when we're reworking this into the new tray. I did want to show you another option. This was a small pan I had picked up from Dollar Tree and decorated. I've been using this to hold jewelry and perfume bottles, and this would be a great size if you wanted a smaller tray. So I'll start by measuring the inside of the tray and cutting out some wrapping paper in that size. If you just mix brown and white paint, at least my shade of brown here, it can come off looking a little pink. So I'm adding some yellow to tone down that pink and it'll end up looking a lot closer to the paint color in the Kirkland's inspiration. It brings me so much joy to share these crafts with you. I wanted to let you know that this is my last video for the year. I figure everyone will have their Christmas decorations up shortly and the holidays are meant to spend time with family. So I want that for all of you. I have a lot of fun things planned for the beginning of the year like giveaways and more creative inspiration for your home. So definitely stay tuned for all that I have for you in 2022. Now it's time to get the spray mount again. This paper was curling up a lot, so a tip for spray mount is to use paper clips to hold down the bottom edges, and then with a rubber gloved hand, hold the top. And then you use your other hand to spray while holding it in the air, and you definitely wanna do this outside because this stuff is potent. If you want to make sure that paper doesn't get stained, you could use some waterproof Mod Podge over top of your wrapping paper. Here were the supplies for this tray. And here's mine next to the Kirkland's one. If you are inspired by these DIYs, then click that subscribe button for more home decor ideas every week. And don't forget to check out my friends in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate all your views and sweet comments. And I hope you have a very creative day and a beautiful holiday season. Bye!